Hey everyone, welcome to Thinking of Pi. Today, we'll be taking a look at servos. Servos are a special kind of motor. They consist of a motor, a reduction gear, a sensor, and a control circuit. Now, most, server, most servos are capable of rotating 180 degrees. They also provide a lot of torque. Therefore, they're very common in robotics with remote control cars, airplanes, and stuff like that. So today will be, I've got a really simple circuit put together and some pretty simple code and we'll just be using the servo to rotate it back and forth over that 180 degrees so we can see how it works. So let's go take a look at it. All right, so here's our circuit. Like I said, it's very simple. We've got our servo and it's connected over here to our voltage and the ground. Third wire, it's this orange one right here. I've got on the white one here hooked up to GPIO 18. If we take a close look at our servo, on this side right here you can see the little DC motor that's in there and then our reduction gear up here in the top and the servo will rotate from one side to the other like that. We get a lot of control over which way, which way it goes. So there's not a lot to it. Um, we'll head over to the computer and take a look at the code and we'll make it work. All right, so here's our code. I do want to spend a little bit of time talking about this. Um, the servo is actually hooked up to GPIO 18 because it does use an analog signal and GPIO 18 does allow us to use a true analog signal rather than a simulated one from any of the other pins. So we are going to be dealing with the duty cycle here. The duty cycle is actually what controls the angle of the servo. So we'll be varying the duty cycle to control the angle that it turns to. Right here we're going to be sending a 50 hertz signal to the servo. That's the frequency at which it's able to respond and understand the signal so that it will react accordingly. Right here we have a method put together that will uh, basically convert our our angles into a signal that the servo can understand and then right down in here um, pretty much all we're going to do is count from 0 to 181 and that will count from 0 to 181 to create the analog signal that varies the duty cycle and then makes it move. So it's going to go from 0 to 180 degrees, wait half a second, and then we'll go backwards from 180 to 0 and do the same thing. And this whole loop is just going to repeat until we tell it to stop. Let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. There we go. Not a lot to it. It's just sweeping back and forth like it's supposed to. So if you wanted to use something like this in a remote control car or an airplane like I mentioned earlier, you would just hook up the uh, steering system to that servo so that when it rotates it uh, turns the control arm and then the wheels respond accordingly. Same thing on an airplane. If you want to control the elevator flaps on an airplane, well, same concept. Pretty simple. Not a lot to it. Next week, we'll be taking a look at stepping motors. This will be the last one in this little bit here about motors. And stepping motors are very unique, so you want to make sure you check that out. Um, but until then, Make sure you subscribe to the channel and check out all the other videos. And if you enjoyed this video, uh, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And I'd love, to read your, I'd love to read your comments below. And if you didn't like it, I'd like to know too. So let me know your thoughts, and I'll talk to you all next week. Thanks.